Somewhere that should be For all the world to see A statue of a fool Statue of a fool Statue of a fool Made of stone Stone Statue of a fool Made of stone Stone all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh and double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Okay, this is GMS Baltimore coming back with some spiritual words on brothers in the camp, the camps, and you know how to conduct yourselves and you know using discernment and, and so forth. This is Karate Sabah, and I got another brother here in the camp. Charge of warrior, okay, and we're just gonna go through a couple scriptures on you know when it comes to being temperament and sober and you know doing this work and how you know how the order is set up from the apostles of Great Millstone on down and uh, how we all have to be on one accord when it comes when it comes to this truth, okay. God, I'm let you go ahead and get started. All right, this is Proverbs 13 and 20. It says, "He that walketh with wise men shall be wise." But a companion of fools shall be destroyed. You know, all right, I'm gonna use an example. We got uh, a child in the camp, you know, and, and 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 you got certain guys, you know, like demons that have walked up, you know. If you just cursing out all type of people, you know, like like the nigga woman, for example. The nigga woman might come back, try to try to get back at you, you know, and then what we gotta do? Protect the child, you know. Of course, at the end of the day. Protected, you know, we believe and have faith that we're protected by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh you know. But if brothers use discernment, you know, and, and wasn't uh, fools, you know, then it wouldn't be um, messed up, you know. You wouldn't get yourself in that that uh, that predicament. So basically, you know, we're we're talking about uh, using more wisdom, you know, and and, and not uh, being fools, you know, because. As, as in the beginning of the video, you had all these guys that got kicked out, you know, some camp leaders, you know, some that was about to start their own camps, you know, and they're no longer here, they're, they're uh, scoffers. Calm, yeah, yeah, I got a, a precept on what you were saying on that, this is, uh, this is Proverbs 26 and 5, answer a fool according to his folly. Lest, lest he be wise in his own uh, in his own conceit. Okay. Um, let me go to verse four. Answer not a fool according to his folly, lest thou also be like unto him. So, you know, in a, in a lot of situations, you got guys that come up with those wicked demons on them, man. And a lot of times, we you know we don't have to answer them. You know, if it's not edified, we ain't got to deal with that. We can tell them to keep it moving. And no reason, you know, I don't, we don't, you know, it's in the spirit. You don't have to curse them out. You just tell them fucking demons to keep moving, man. God. And, 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 you know, like, like, for, for camp leaders, you know, because the apostles even said it themselves, you know, be assholes, you know, because if something went down, who going to get the blame for it, you know? Of course, you, for, for, for not having your men in order, you know? You can't go to war. You know, because this is this is a spiritual battlefield. You can't go to war and y'all not on the same same accord. You know, no if the guy don't want to uh, shut his mouth, you know, you handle that at the camp. You know, don't be a fool. You know, it shouldn't be to the point where somebody comes up and all of a sudden everybody want to talk. Everybody want to get their scriptures out. You know, of course we want to cut them up through the spirit, but at the same time the Lord likes things done decently and order. You know. So you gotta be a you gotta be an asshole, you know. Don't be a fool when you when you dealing with your your brother, you know. And they love you at the end of the day, you know, because your outside wasn't a fool, you know. He, he he knew that he hung around the devil, you know. He kept that devil in check. The devil was just filling out that prophecy, you know, which was Judas, you know. So your outside is the the, 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 the the main camp leader if you really want to put it into perspective because this is what this is all y'all about some y'all outside doing right now. So he knew what and you follow his example. He was an austere man, you know, and he kept it real. You know, as a scripture there, I, I, I'm, I'm 
not sure, I'm just paraphrasing it. It talks about the rebuke, uh, 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 being rebuked by the wise, and you, be, you know, you would love thee, man. You know, if you get rebuked by a, a wise man, like the apostles of Great Millstone, they go out and sometimes they got to rebuke, uh, camp leaders rebuke, uh, brothers in camps, and you're supposed to accept that rebuke, man. And, and, and really what that is, is a chastisement from the Lord, letting you know, hey, I, you know, I messed up, you messed up, and I'm loving you enough to show you that you went off, or to show you that you're wrong. Like when you beat your child, man, you beat them because you so-called beat them for love. What you gonna do? Just let them get away with whatever they wanna do? You also beating that foolishness out of them, also, right? You know, because the, the, the scriptures speak on that also. You know, you beat your child, and you, you're taking the foolishness out of them. You know, yeah. and it's all out of love. You know, this is a, the, 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 if a guy can't accept reproof, you know, because that's basically what it is. You know, he's a fool. You know, a lot of these guys that come in, you know, because we're dealing with the, the, this truth, we got to realize everybody ain't, we all pieces of crap, man. You know, we all come in with the worldly spirits on us, you know, and some brothers got to get those demons up off of them. So, so when you come into this, you got to realize, like, that's what's going to happen. This, this, this was all throughout the scriptures. God's being fools, you know. You, they, 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 they not really throwing being fools for your outside, see, you know, they just being fools because that's in their spirit, yeah. you got to reproof them. Reproof them. Well, well, Apostle Gabar did a, a lesson on that and he said it best, man, it's called discretion, man, you got to have discretion, you know, everybody that comes up, man, don't have to be cursed out, you know, I mean, in some cases, you know, you go with the spirit, you, you deal with it or however you you know, you want to go with it. But really, our ultimate goal is to reach the elect. And sometimes we get caught up in the spirit and we come hard and we start cur cutting it with those scriptures. You know, Great Millstone gets on Great Millstone, man. That's what makes it such a, a great camp. Because we don't let anything slide. You know, we spend the whole week on IUIC, IUPK, and other camps, man. But we get on each other also. Right. Um, this is Proverbs 17 and 10. A reproof enter, entereth more into a wise man than a hundred stripes into a fool. Yep. So, so, so this is one thing also. I'm, I'm going to go into the next verse. It says, an evil man seeketh only rebellion. You know, so one way how people are fools is, you know, among certain camps, you got guys who, who think that, oh, I'm not a speaker, you know. Oh, I want to be a reader. I don't want to just hold the signs. Well, I wish that I could do it on the apostles' level. You know? When the Lord exalts the, the, the most humble. You yep. know? Yep. So you got to be you gotta be humble when you come into this thing. You yep. know? Because you want to live and die by those words that you that, that, that you that you got. The Lord knows your spirit. And your spirit, that, that demon that's inside you, that, that's inside you, that's, that's talking to you, you know? He's living through your actions. No. Yeah. No. I mean, when the, the, the guys in the beginning of this video, they were niggas. They were found out to be niggas, man. And you gotta know that there's more niggas, okay? There's more niggas that's gonna be exposed. It ain't not the first niggas, and ain't gonna be the last before your know, Hobbit Shimmy Shah shuts this place down. So we all have the brothers in this truth all have one common, one common goal is to get out here and reach the elect, you know? All that BS going back and forth, man, just get out there and reach the elect, man. And do it decently in order. Don't worry about, oh, I got to be magnified, I got to be the man. You know, if, I, if I'm not the man, then I, I'm not anybody. Because you got a lot of guys, man, that come out of the world who was nothing. And now all of a sudden they learn how to, you know, be, that they were the Israelite and they learned a couple of scriptures and now all of a sudden they're magnified as the, the greatest men and now they want to be the, the, on the level of the apostles who's been out there 30 years, 20 years, 15 years man you ain't on that level man I'm still a novice man, you ain't on that level Don't you got guys out and I see in other camps and I be hearing about it that's trying to magnify themselves on the level of the apostles man take your order man, take your place 
to say this also, right? When you're doing this, you know, using discernment and everything like that, you got to be able to read read spirits, you know? You got to be able to see that that brother got that demon on him, you know? How do you think your house side did it, you know? Even though this is your house side we're speaking about, you think that the Lord just going to give your house side that, that, uh, that, that power? Just for a regular person, Yahweh Shah prayed for that. You know, it's King Solomon. Yahweh Shah was humble. You know? So, I'm going to say this, right? And, and, and this is Proverbs 17 and 28. Even a fool, when he holdeth his peace, is counted wise. And he that sucks his lip is an ex is esteemed as a man of understanding, right? The way how you can tell that those guys from the beginning of the video are not uh, wise, because they didn't shut their mouths. No, come. They didn't take their reproof. They didn't take their reproof. You know, and this is this is the, uh, 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 through the spirit. You know that guys need to stop being fools. Even even us. You know, right here. You know, come. get it get it right the first time. Because you let something slide the first time, they gonna keep on trying to you know come come back with the stupidness. Yep. Come. Well, you know, the Lord said, uh, be ye perfect. You know, you gotta try. You striving to be perfect, but I'm gonna get a scripture on that because you was talking about them. You know, brothers, you know, speaking and not listening, man. Okay, this is uh, James one and nineteen. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath, because that's the order, man. You know, you gotta, you gotta listen. Nobody really can hear while they're speaking so if brother's telling you something and you you, you got to listen first and, and analyze the situation before you just jump out there and make some uh a wrathful decision okay it goes on to say for the wrath of a man work of not the righteousness of yahweh bashim yahweh shah okay i just wanted to say that god um i got a uh, quick precept um Proverbs 26 and uh, 11. Is a dog re returning to his vomit, so a fool returning to his folly. You know, all those guys in the beginning of the video, you know, those guys are examples of what not to be. You know, they returned to their folly. You know, the Lord brought that spirit, spirit out of them. You know, and through, through the spirit, you just gotta, you gotta pray for that spirit. You know, that the Lord removes you, them demons up off of you. You know, so that you can make your calling an election sword. You know, whether you're a camp leader, whether you're a brother, or you're coming newer to this thing. Huh. Yeah. Yep. Uh, James 1 and 22. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. So when you out here week in and week out speaking this word, that means during the week, you got to still be a doer of the word, man. You just can't go speaking it and not doing it. Okay, it says, be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. You go on and you watch the Apostles of Great Millstone, you hear some videos, you close it back off, you go right back into the world, man. You go right back to being a nigger. And that's when the Lord starts doing this sifting to remove you, man. Okay, I mean, that, that, that scripture goes for anybody who wants to be in the world, man. God. You can't be a weakened Israelite, okay? God, or, or seasonal Israelite. A seasonal Israelite. Yeah. Um, even um, like the Azar, you know? He don't believe in the Apocrypha, you know? He don't believe in Yahweh Shah. You know, the Lord removed all that, you know? So when you come into this thing, you gotta be smart. You gotta be wise and not lean on your own understanding, you know? God. So with that, we wanna give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles of great.